Corral again. It's been a while since um, I've been with you all. Um, you know, I teach, and I teach writing. And I've noticed a problem that a lot of my students have. They have this idea in their head about what a sentence is. And they use sort of like a formula. Now, I do teach through formula, but when you do formula, which is fine, you know, as any scientist, they use formulas, but you also have to use critical thinking. You have to think with the formula. The formula is only there to help you. So example, I don't know if you can see what's behind me, but I have here a sentence, and I have with the um, equal mark crossed off, and it says sentence, Equal more crossed off means it is not only a subject plus a verb plus an object. That's what students tell me. A sentence is a you know, subject plus verb plus an object. Now, a sentence can be that. There's no denying that. I speak English. Subject, I speak. Uh, um, um, verb and object is English. But that's not the only thing a sentence can be. And you can have a sentence with a subject, with a verb, and with an object. I mean, you can have a group of words. I shouldn't call it a sentence, excuse me. You can have a group of words with a subject, a verb, and an object, and it's not a sentence. Or you can have just one word, and it's a sentence. Because a sentence equals a complete idea. Complete. Complete idea means simply that what after what I have said, you understand what I want, what I need, what I'm indicating, you understand. So if I say to you, run, you're not going to look at me and say, now what do you mean by run? Do you mean run quickly, run slow? You understand at this moment in time, you need to run. If I'm sitting at the table with a, with a child and the child doesn't eat, and I look at the child and I say, eat, the child understands what to do. But if I just say chair, you're going to look at me like I'm crazy. Or if I just say blue, you're going to look at me like I'm crazy. Because that doesn't indicate what I want. So let me give you examples of sentences in which I have the subject, I have the verb, and I have the object, but it's not a sentence, because it's not a complete idea. If I say to you, although I speak English, even though you go to school every day, you're looking at me and saying, okay, but what? I have the subject, I. I have the verb, speak. I have the, uh, uh, the object, English. But it's not a complete idea. Because I also have a subordinating conjunction. And subordinating conjunctions makes, although I speak English, into a subordinating or in, or a, excuse me, or a dependent clause. Because how do you know it's a dependent clause? And not a sentence? Because you're waiting for something. You're waiting for me to do what? To complete my idea. Now, you know what I use a lot? I use old fashioned, and maybe some of these are not so old fashioned, grade book grammar books to teach grammar. And sometimes I even show it to my students and I say you can go and buy it on your own. So let me give you some common subordinating conjunctions. After, although, as, as if, if, if you go to the store, I'm waiting for the other shoe to fall. What? What? Until, until you learn to speak English. Now remember, all of these uh, clauses contain a subject, a verb, and an object. So let's just, before we finish, let's just um, review. 
a sentence more than anything is a complete idea. A sentence or a sentence, I mean, I should say a sentence fragment or a group of words can contain a subject, a verb, and an object and not be a complete idea. It can contain only a verb, run, eat, sit down, go, leave, listen, open, close. And it only contains one word, which is the verb, because without a verb, you don't have a sentence. Just one word, and it can be a complete idea. Especially if the fragment or the clause contains a subordinating conjunction, then you know that although, where, until, if, more, for example, wherever, while, whenever, even though you have although and then a subject, a verb, and an object, you know that's not going to be a complete idea. It's not going to be a sentence. When we come back, we're going to talk about why it's important to understand what a sentence is and what does that have to do with punctuation. So this is Corrala Ficklin. I'm McLean. I, I, I now go by Corrala Ficklin McLean. Okay, and um, we're talking about grammar and we're trying to demystify grammar because it's not rocket science. Thank you very much. Have a good day, everyone.